what is the best um trucker gps that i can get because what's up youtube welcome back to breaking truckers Lo was supposed to be picked up at eight o'clock yesterday morning here you go guys in this clip right here this young lady is asking the pivotal question the age old question what is the best gps that she should get she wants one that has routes that takes you on truck routes she wants one that keeps you away from constructions which one is out there which one do you like no more wasting time let's get it hold on hey y'all how y'all doing so okay we got down here to savannah yesterday Low was supposed to be picked up at 8 o'clock yesterday morning. It is now 11.30 in the afternoon the next day, and my low still ain't ready. I mean, I'm not stressing too bad because I didn't get here till like 8.30 last night. But still, I was planning on being on a beach in Jacksonville, Florida right now. But, you know, whatever. Welcome to truck life. I get it. I get it. I'm not stressing. But what I really came on here to ask y'all is, okay, so I'm, I want to get me a GPS, y'all, but what is the best trucker GPS that I can find out here? I look rough. Ooh, sweet baby cheese. What is the best um, trucker GPS that I can get? Because Qualcomm sucks. And I need one that's going to update regularly. I need one that's going to tell me where all the construction is. I need one that's going to not take me down roads that I'm not supposed to go down. Okay? No more truck restricted roads. Hey, I need this. So, um, put it in the comments, please. What is the best um, truck of GPS so I can go and get it? Please and thank you. Other than that, y'all keep that rubber side down. Stay between that mustard and that mayo and be blessed. All right, guys, there you have it. Here she is back again i previewed this young lady before shout out to this young lady right here but she's back again because she's having trouble with the qualcomm what do you guys think now when i got into the trucking industry i knew that i was going to need a gps because it was going to be pivotal to the work that i need and when i asked that same question i went to the facebook groups and i said hey what what gps that you guys got what do you think is kind of kind of best out there and i kept getting answers on top of answers not the quite best answers that i was looking for but out of the millions of answers that i got i kind of narrowed it down to ram mcnally at that time so i came back home put in an order for ram mcnally and rocked out with the 730 that was the very first ram and nally i got but before i got that i was in a trainer's truck and he had a cobra cobra back in the day made gps's as well as tom tom i don't even think you guys remember tom tom remember them <laughs> i don't even think they in existence anymore but the cobra that i had I used because you know the trainer had one and I thought it was a good idea but when I got the Cobra come to find out Cobra was kind of like leaving the GPS business they was just gonna sorely focus on the CB radios and leave the GPS alone and as soon as I got mine they stopped doing updates and it was horrible so I got the Ram McNally 730 beautiful never had a problem i mean i put in the i i, I put in the places where i want to go it got me there it kept me out of trouble not to say that it it didn't get me into trouble but not as much trouble as what people keep making it out to be now the brand Nelly 730 all i had to do was update it keep it updated keep it updated and it did what it did what it was supposed to do for me 
Okay, I never had no problems with it. The only problem that I had is when the 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 lighter burnt out or whatever, and I had to end up going to get me a uh, the new Ram and Nally, which was the seven forty five or some shit like that. But unfortunately, that turned into a brick. Like I had it for a year, and then I was I was going down two ninety uh, two ninety four in Illinois and it just clamped out. I thought it needed to be updated. I updated, it didn't work. I thought it needed to be reset it, reset it, didn't work. I thought it factory reset it, reset it, didn't work. Didn't work. So pulled over to the side, thought to myself, hmm, should I get another Ram and Nally? Should I do the ghetto move and get a Ram and Nally? Get the new one out the box, put the old one in the box and take it back. But Unfortunately, the truck stops don't take electronic items back. Or let me rephrase that. They don't give they don't give you your money back. They give you an exchange. So really didn't wouldn't work for me. So I said, let me go ahead and give Garmin a try. And I got the Garmin diesel seven inch. And it's it's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. You know, there's when it comes to GPS is there's really not the best ones out there. I mean, now it's only two that you can choose from. Back then you had you had a couple of others to choose from, but now you only got two, which is the industry standard. You got the Ram and Nally and you got the Garmin GPS. Some of us have both of them, you know. Garmin GPS, I like it. It never lose route. It keeps you on track. It lets you know if you if you hook it up to your to your Wi-Fi or to your data plan or whatever the case, you would see like real time traffic. But actually, you can see real time traffic on 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 um, Ram and Nally as well. But you have to you have to tether it with your with your hotspot in order to get it all right now again like i said use these as a tool all right one one is not better than the other i mean it's personal preference you either like ram and nally or you either like garmin or you like both of them if you get both of them just know you're going to come out of the pocket about a grand at least because the inexpensive the in it, I know the inexpensive Ram and Nally going to run you about 400, about 400, 450. And the inexpensive Garmin is going to probably run you about the same. And that's a seven inch. Now, if you decide to go into the bigger inches, which I don't understand why you would need a 10 inch monitor in the middle of your windshield. I mean, if your vision is that damn, is that damn bad, you might want to go back and get it checked or get up off the road. I'm just saying. Uh, but if you do get uh, a bigger size, tablet size, Garmin GPS, I mean, there's more features to it. Uh, just know that's going to run you about a cool grand at least. All right. So again, uh, I... I probably might not even give you the best answer. I am so sorry. I again have a GPS. I have a, a Garmin. I'm thinking about going to get a Ram and Nally just to have it as a backup, but I have the Garmin. And I know a lot of the guys in your comment session, which I have checked out some of them, a lot of them keep saying, uh, download Trucker's Path, which is not a bad idea. Download Hammer Lane. Download this truck GPS onto your phone. Download this. Download that. I'm going to say it's a good idea to download them, use them, you know, for route maintenance and stuff like that. But don't uh, depend on them because what these guys is not telling you and what I'm about to tell you, this the, the the phone GPS's uses your data and you're going to end up getting in Timbuktu 
where there's data not available. And then what you gonna do? Then what you gonna do? You probably might have data when you set it up and you on that good route. But if you don't, if you veer off that route for any reason to make that phone to start uh to start resetting or relocating or reformatting, yeah, you're gonna get in the world of trouble. <laughs> because again, the GPS is on your phone, uses the data. And if you go through areas like, you know, the mountains or stuff like that, where data service is not all that hot, good luck to you, driver. So again, I would suggest not to depend on your cell phone GPS, uh, GPS is as much. I would say this, grab yourself either a Ram and Nally or a Garmin. You can't go wrong with either one of them. Thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my hands. So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent. Dig deeper, still coming up with lens. So I start my mission, leave my residence. Thinking how could I get some dead presidents? I need money. I used to be a stick up kid. So I think of all the devious things I did. Used to roll up, this is a hole up. Nothing funny, stop smiling.